May God's blessings be upon you all today. In the first reading, Prophet Jeremiah says, Woe to me, mother, that you gave me birth. Maraming nagsasabing ganunan, mga kabataan. Sana hindi na ako pinanganak. Pag pinagsabihan ng nanay, sabi, Ba't sinabi ko ba na ipanganak mo ako? Mga kabataan. Why is my pain continuous? My wound, incurable, refusing to be healed. There are many people today that they have inner wounds. They look healthy outside, but psychologically and spiritually, they say, why is my pain continuous? My wound, incurable, refusing to be healed. Ang dami ngayon nangangailangan ng sleeping tablets. Meron na ata eh, sa MRT noon, meron Slipasil. Problema ko ngang magising kahit matandaan na ako eh. Eh, yung iba kailangan uminom ng alak para makatulog. Yung iba naman, prusak ata ang tranquilizers. Umiinom ng tranquilizers dahil grabe na ang stress, grab, grabe na <coughs> ang nervous, nervousness nila. Kailangan ngayon ng marami psychotherapists. It's with this. We are visionaries, supposed to be in the spiritual, but we are spending a lot of time and money sending our visionaries to study guidance and counseling. Even our seminarians need guidance and counseling now, which we did not need before during my time. Walang guidance and counseling, walang psychotherapy, walang sleeping pills, walang tranquilizers. Why is my pain continuous? My wound incurable, refusing to be healed. Let us pray for all these people today, especially those belonging to our family. Kawawa naman. So, I would like to quote from Viktor Frankl. Man's search for meaning, very famous book during my time. Because for years, I taught mental health to seminarians. I studied psychology, went for an MA in guidance and counseling. Viktor Frankl was in a concentration camp. He survived. He found out that those who had a meaning in life even if they were tortured by the Nazis in Auschwitz and Dachau and other concentration camps, they survived. The doctors also find it out now, kasi sila puro physical. Doctors are finding it out na kung walang gana ng mabuhay, no will to live, kahit ano pang MRI at saka CAT scan ang nilalaga, hindi nababuhay ang tao. So this is what Victor Frankl said, very important for us today. Very important also for the elderly to teach the young how to live. Victor Frankl. Ultimately, man should not ask what the meaning of his life is. But rather, he must recognize that it is he who is being asked. It is she that is being asked. In a word, each person, each man, each woman is questioned by life. And she can only answer to life by answering for his own life. To life, he can only respond by being responsible. Victor Frank. So if we are responsible, if we have discovered 
the reason why you are here among the stars and the planets and the galaxies, you will not need tranquilizer. You will not need guidance and counseling and psychotherapy. In fact, Victor Frankl put up a school of therapy, logo therapy. Logo means meaning, order. So the best way, according to him, lahat ng mga nagsasabi na why is my pain continuous? My wound incurable, refusing to be healed. Give them meaning. Talk to them. Let them discover how to be responsible and find out the meaning of your life. So in the gospel, Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven, like a treasure buried in a field. Nakita nung mama. Out of joy, he goes, sells all that he has and buys that feed. Also like a pearl of great pride. So kung may mahanap ka talaga na dahilan kung bakit narito ka sa San Sinukob na ito, joy! That is what the gospel has been saying 2,000 years ago. Ang dami ngayon, guidance and counseling, how to combat your defense mechanism, how to avoid mental health problems, especially for those people who say, Woe to me, mommy, that you gave me birth. Sana hindi na lang ako pinanganap sa mundong ito. Hindi nakahanap ng treasure. Hindi nakahanap ng pearl. Kaya dakot-dakot na sakit ang mayroon. Maintenance, medicines, billion-billion ang ginagasta ng mga tao ngayon niya. Bakit? Jeremiah. Pain continuous. Wound incurable. So let us pray today that we, even those who are always going to church, will discover the treasure of great price buried in the field and out of joy, joy, we will turn our backs on everything that pass away, look for that which will not be eaten by mouth or rust, sabi ng Panginoon. To joy din. Hindi lang, sinasabi ng gospel, hindi lang na hindi ka nangangailangan ng therapy, tranquilizer, sleeping pills. Dami ngayon niya. Mayroon pa sa Amerika, may maliit na lake. Just to give you an example, na grabe na ngayon ang tranquilizer. May maliit na lake. Pinag-aralan ng scientists yung mga isda. Sluggish. Yung parang walang gana. Tinignan nila yung tubig. Yung tubig ng lake, puno na ng chemical na galing sa tranquilizer na inihi ng mga tao around the lake. Pati isda natatranquilize. So, we should pray. That we should not need those. Magdasal ka lang dyan. Baka hindi tama yung pagdarasal mo, kaya you are still troubled. Baka hindi mo panahanap yung pearl of great price. So hindi lang yan. Level lang yun. Kailangan tataas ka dyan. Out of joy. Goes and sells all that he has and buys that fee. You're always going to church. I know... There's great consolation. But you have to ask yourself, are you experiencing joy receiving Christ in holy communion or in spiritual communion? The last thing I would like to say is what the poet said. Ultimately, he said, we can only love what is eternal. 
if you spend your life running after the grasshoppers in your feet, mababa ang pagtingin mo. You will not experience joy. Grasshopper yan eh. Tipaklong yan eh. What the Lord, what our faith is telling us, you follow a star. Not run after grasshoppers under your feet. Things that pass away. Because your heart is programmed, your heart is wired to find joy only on what does not pass away, on things that endure, on things that are eternal. Analyze yourself. Look at all the people who say, even if they are millionaires, why is my pain, con pain continuous, my wound incurable? refusing to be healed. Ang dami na nagiging alcoholics ngayon, pati mga babae. Never found the pearl of great price. And He is in our midst. Christ is always there. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is the field with the treasure buried in it. He is our pearl of great price. But we only come to him every now and then. He is not really the main point of our existence. We do not sell everything and live for him alone. And that is what we should pray for today. If Christ is truly the Son of God, life has to be lived for him alone.